Katie, somebody help jump in real quick. Somebody jump in. Come on, come on, security. Get in there. 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 We want to tell you about this deadly night at rapper Travis Scott's Astro World Festival. Police say that at least eight people were killed at the packed concert at Energy Park and hundreds of others injured. And HPD has set up a command post for information on any missing persons at the Wyndham Hotel near Kirby and 610. We have team coverage on this story this morning. Let's begin with our newest reporter, Rilwan Balagan, who is live at Energy Park with more details on what happened. Rowan, what can you tell us? Good morning. It's a tragic situation here. Eight people confirmed dead. 17 people were taken to the hospital. Of those, 11 were treated for some sort of cardiac arrest. Now, here's what we know at this point. Over 50,000 people were in attendance for Astro World. Houston Fire Chief Sam Pena says around 9.15, the crowd, quote, compressed towards the front of the stage. The fire department had over 55 units responding to the scene on top of the crews already at the events and HPD Chief Troy Finner said there were more than 300 officers at the events in addition to 200 security officers. Finner says there was a good security plan in place. Now as the investigation gets underway, Pena says officers are heading to the hospital to identify victims. What we ask the community right now is that if your family member was at this event, and you have not spoken to your family member. We have a reunification center that's gonna be open at 8686 Kirby. That's the Wyndham Houston Hotel, 8686 Kirby. It's Kirby at 610. We will have uh, Houston uh, Police Department, Houston Fire Department, medical examiner personnel there to, to assist in providing information and filtering information of those patients that were transported to the hospitals. So if you, again, if your relative, family member was at this event and you have not spoken to that individual, please, you can uh, go to 8686 Kirby. That is the reunification center. We will have uh, units there available to assist in providing that information. What's up everyone? It is Yasmin Woodland and welcome back to my channel. Travis Scott had his third annual Astro World Fest in Houston, Texas last night and a crowd of 50,000 people actually attended and at least eight people were left dead and several others were injured due to an alleged crowd stampede. So this all happened last night around 9.15 p.m. The crowd started moving towards the front of the stage and once people moved closer, a lot of other individuals started passing out because they could not breathe. Now, when paramedics arrived on site, they stated that a lot of people had a lot of panic and a lot of people even was in cardiac arrest and they were unresponsive at the scene. A lot of these video clips seen here is courtesy of Twitter. Um, Travis Scott has been trending all over Twitter and Astro World Fest has also been trending all over Twitter as well. And a lot of people who were actually there at the concert stated that the crowd was already stampeding and uncontrolled when the gates first opened, okay? So you can see here in this clip, people were already losing their minds. People were already running, stampeding, falling once the concert was open for entry. And at one point, people were stating that Travis Scott was even trying to help at one point because in this video clip scene here, which I'll play for you all, he was actually trying to get the security's attention to help a man in the crowd. Now check this out. Security, somebody help jump in real quick. Somebody jump in, come on, come on, security. Now, a lot
lot of people are saying that they don't know if the guy that Travis was talking about, if he needed some sort of medical attention. A lot of people are still kind of curious as to what that guy in the crowd actually needed. And um, people were saying that Travis did try to help at one point. And then some people said that Travis actually didn't try to help at one point because there's another video clip that surfaced of Travis just kind of, he kept singing, he kept performing, even though everything around him was kind of going crazy. People were passing out, people were getting ran over, and he was still seen trying to perform, trying to put on a show, and trying to still kind of do his jobs. So a lot of people was confused by that as well. Now, another point that I kind of want to hit on is that I've seen um, some conspiracy theories as well. So for all of my conspiracy theorists out, out there, welcome. I'm one of them too. And I saw a lot going on Twitter saying that this was actually ritualistic. This was very demonic. This was something that was sacrificial. It was a sacrifice. And I even seen some references to his song, the highest one in the room. Now, a lot of people are saying that it was kind of subliminal how he's just up on this pedestal and the crowd beneath him, which is kind of like the world, is erupting in chaos. There's people passing out. There's people who's losing their lives. And Travis is just up on this pedestal, kind of untouched, unharmed, like he's the highest one in the room. Like nothing can happen to him, right? So I, I've seen a lot of those references on Twitter and I'm actually gonna play a small clip for you all as well. The money shit, like, and what was so crazy, like people were screaming help, trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott, they was like help, the whole crowd was just going like help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. It was like, that shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. So you all heard what that person had to say. They were kind of claiming how it could have been kind of demonic because Travis kept going even when people in the crowd kept signaling him for help. So a lot of people can look at it that way as well, but other people are definitely saying, you know, F Travis Scott because a lot of people were begging him to stop in the crowd and he kept on performing. He actually seen the chaos going on and he kept he kept rapping, he kept doing his music. Now, a lot of people were actually defending him saying there's a lot of people in the crowd. Like, how do you expect him to see everybody? So this clip surfaced of Travis just watching a person you know, needing medical attention in the crowd and people were literally waving their hands trying to get Travis's attention. However, Travis did keep going. He did keep on with the show and a lot of people are saying like, that's foul, like why would you do that? So update everybody, as I'm actually filming this uh, voiceover for this video, there's an entire update happening. This is brought to you by TMZ. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is share this news. So according to this update by TMZ, it states that a source connected claims that somebody was injecting the crowd with drugs, okay? Now it states here, a source connected to the astral world tells TMZ someone in the crowd went crazy and began injecting people with some sort of drug which caused panic and then a surge. The source says authorities are trying to determine if those who went into cardiac arrest were the ones injected. We're told one of those who died is a 10 year old. Wow, how sad. The sources say it appears to be a targeted attack. We have not confirmed this report, but the source is a key person involved in the festival. Okay, so again, TMZ has not confirmed the report yet. This is just a source connected. So we definitely have to just wait it out, get the details sorted, and send prayers for the people who did lose their loved ones, okay? So there, there will definitely be an update in this entire story. I will try to keep you all updated. Make sure you all subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and comment below on your thoughts. Prayers to the people who lost their lives, especially including minors. And until next time, everybody, see you.